obviously. Oh, thank you. Uh, you know, it was it was a big win. You know, we we've had some crack crack stats here, so we just want to talk okay. to you a little bit about. <laughs> You know, oh, no. the difference between the first win in Lexington back in oh 2012. A <laughs> um, little bit different game, if you remember. I don't know if you remember it back oh, then. Oh, I knew. You it know? was one of my few wins that year. Yeah, so, well, yeah. I mean, you know, it was, it was a nail-biter. You know, you had the one-point lead at the end, right? And yep. then, uh, if, according to what I'm hearing, DJ uh, Quadrasri, 18 yep. points. She had a big game that year. You know, I've just been very fortunate over the, this is my seventh season, and every year I've, I've you know, I have a, a handful of, you know, basketball players that are really – um, you know, lend to not just what we do on the court, but behind the scenes too. And you know, every year, it's just it's gotten progressively better talent-wise. It seems like um, the the year, I'm not going not to downplay anyone I've had in previous years, but the the, the kids I have right now, um, the seniors I have, yep. um, I refer to them as my girls. Like yeah, throughout yeah. Everyone I talk to thinks I have four daughters because <laughs> I talk to them like as if they're my kids. Right. Um, but you know, I've had this group, um, this core group of girls, for four years now, and then they've just they what they've done has for the un, for the underclassmen has been instrumental. So they've shown them like what my expectations are, what it means like to be a good teammate, um, and you know, I could be prouder of the girls that I've had not just seven years ago, but right. you know, throughout the course of my my time here, but couldn't have 100 wins without kids like this one next to right. me as well. Well, Ashley, I mean, you know, we uh, my, my unofficial tabulation, I believe he had 26 points, so it was close to your high. I know 31 is your, or is your high, but, you know, one thing I noticed, you know, a lot of left-handed layups today. <laughs> it was uh, it was going to look like Larry Bird out there with the left hand. Uh, you know, one thing I've noticed about the way you play, quick hands, quick first step. You know, is that is that some innate ability that you have, or is that the hours upon hours of practice that you have out in your front lawn, out in the on the courts all the time? Because you get a lot of easy baskets, and I know you work hard, so I know that's part of it. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. All right, she well does. She, she's, yeah. she, she works hard, and she she actually is not. She's probably equally as strong with her left and her right. Yep. So that's what makes her. You know, she's a she's a big defensive weapon. And I think this year more so than other years, she's um, defensively she's just heads and tails above a lot of other guards because of the length that she has. Right. And Jemmy, she can jump, and she's got great hands for the ball. So. Um, you know, I, a lot of nights I'll put her on some of the, the better guards. Even right. So she'll have a height advantage, which puts them at a disadvantage out there because they're not able to get the quick shots off. Yep. They're not able to make the passes that they may be able to against other people guarding them. So Right. Yeah. So we're going to have a couple of plays here. So, uh, you know, here's Ashley again on the fast break, just going up. Nice left hand. So when you're going in there, Ashley, you know, here's another one out in the corner. And I love the fact you're calling for the ball. Beautiful, beautiful form, you know, three-pointer. And then, again, the quick hands. Uh, so when you're going in here, now I know when I used to play, you're a little nervous there because there's no one around you yeah. thinking like, <laughs> you know, but here's another steal. But, you know, you make them you know, all the time. It's like it's like automatic. So, you know, do you have a thought process as you're going in there or is it just like routine? It's like, I know I got this. This isn't a problem. I mean, I try not to think about it because yeah. if I do, I feel like I'd miss it if I overthink <laughs> <Yeah>. things. So. <laughs> Well, I mean, you, you know, you get a lot of opportunities there. Like I said, Lisa mentioned, I mean, and I've mentioned it before, you've got such a quick first step. And I saw a play, you did a little hesitation move earlier today that the girl was on defense. She stood up, and then you just went right by her. It's just so quick. And the, a lot of the guards and even the forwards in the Hawker Mock League just think they, they can't catch up to you. So I think that's a great advantage. And I think, you know, in the Delphi next year, I think that's going to be a big benefit for you. Uh, heading into you know the basketball program, so you know congratulations on that, obviously, and you know continue on. We want to see your name up on the on the the banner, probably in I would imagine next year. Next year she'll have to come back and visit us. So yeah, exactly. Yeah. So hopefully you'll be right below Sarah. I mean I don't know if you're going to be able to get her, but <laughs> you know that, that'll be kind of tough in the last the eight to ten games that you guys have. But um, and Lisa, you know again, what you do for the community as well with the with the youth and the girls, seeing them even at like the halftime program. And, and being involved, I think that just is is great for the community to see that. And, you know, you're going to continue to build that program. You've seen it, you know, mm -hmm. with Ashley coming up through the ranks, you know, my daughter and, and some of the other girls, Caitlin Mollick, I mean, mm -hmm. what a great player she is, you know, and that's just starting from the youth program. Right. You know, showing interest, getting to clinics for the girls, having people like Ashley and Lily, you know, right. uh, run the clinics. You know, these, these girls look at that and say, this is, a, this is great to see, you know, varsity athletes oh absolutely yeah. and some of our best um fans are our younger you know watching these girls and they treat them as if they're superstars you know so um and so just that interaction is just it keeps drawing them back which is we want to keep them in foxborough so um right. 
you know, so the more interaction we can get, like you had mentioned, from early on up until, um, you know, middle school and beyond, it's just it's going to only help up build our program. And the success we've had, um, it just helps people gra gravitate toward Foxborough High School, which right. is the goal. Well, I mean, uh, you know, I don't want to take up a lot of time. I know Ashley's got to get ready, get <laughs> midterms and everything else, but uh, <laughs> she's a senior, so she probably doesn't have to care as much. But again, Lisa, congratulations. It's Thank a you great very much. accomplishment. Uh, Ashley, congratulations on, the, on, on a big win. I, you guys, you know, obviously tournament bound again for another year. Yeah. So uh, the sky's the limit. And, uh, you know, we're looking forward to seeing you guys here and, and uh, you know, for the rest of the season. So good luck on, on the rest of the games in the Davenport. Great. And the, the Hawk in general. Excellent. Thanks, All Mark. right. Thanks, Lisa. All right. Thanks.